November the 21st, 1783, in Paris, France, two Frenchmen became the first men to fly in a hot air balloon. We made a little hot air balloon for you today. This is called the envelope. It's full of helium. It's less dense than the air around it, so it will go up. Down here I've got what I call the gondola. Now, when I let go of it, it's actually going to fly. It'll lift up and gently float on the breeze. Let's just see how we go. Now that is how a hot air balloon flies. That's not what Lawrence Hargrave was talking about when he talked about manned flight. He wanted people to be able to take off like a bird, fly from one place to another rapidly, quickly. A hot air balloon just drifts on the wind. That's not manned flight. Lawrence Hargrave wanted to bring the world closer together by shortening significantly the time of travel from one place to another, say from Australia to England or Australia the United States of America. That's what the man flight that Lawrence Hargrave was seeking to achieve on this beach about 110 years after that first balloon flight.